Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So today's video is going to be a little different from all my other videos for two reasons. First of all, it's going to be like a testing or like trying out a Pinterest makeup look, which I've never done a video like that before. And I'm super excited, but I'm also excited because it is a collab video. So I'm collabing with three other of my YouTube friends. They are so sweet and you guys will love them. So first of all, I have Jenna Marie and I have collabed with her before and she is so sweet and I love her videos. They are such great quality and I love her makeup and her content overall. And next is Michaela. I love Michaela. She's so sweet and she again deserves so many more subscribers and has such great content. And the last one is Talia. Oh my gosh, Talia's makeup? Her makeup is absolutely insanely good and she is so underrated and deserves so many more subscribers. So make sure to go follow all of their Instagrams and subscribe to their channels. They will all be linked down below. But anyways, um, I'm going to be doing like a sun look. I don't know. It's like a yellowy orangish like look with a sun. So if you came from my channel, make sure to go tell them that you came from my channel. But if you are a new person joining my channel today, then hello! Thank you so much for joining, girl! Then thank you so much for joining, and you should subscribe. Um, anyways, I'm gonna be doing like a sun type of look. It's like a yellowy, orangish look. Let me pull it up. Okay, so hopefully you'll be able to see it. But it's this look, and I think it is super duper pretty. Again, here it is. And so she has like a bold eyebrow, and then it's literally a sun on her face it's a nice pop and highlighter and i think it is so pretty definitely will be out of my comfort zone and a bit of a challenge i'd say let's just go ahead and get okay, started so I, should, so I should probably take off my makeup first that would be a good first step so i'm taking off all of my makeup because i'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyes first okay i'm also gonna change the angle because i feel like it's like up too high and now i'm up too high okay so um i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows first um the girl in the picture had like nice bold brows um they're really really nice hopefully i can get my eyebrows to look that good but we'll have to see so i'm gonna use the elf like pomade it's not exactly my shade but it's gonna be more like bold than my brow pencil yeah i'm gonna use this the brush i'm using is this elf eyeshadow or what the heck eyebrow dual like brush that has this on one side and then the spoolie on the other which is really nice which every start is quaking so i'm going to start by just brushing my brow hairs up because hers were nice and like groomed mine are just kind of there i'm just gonna kind of like pinch the brush because it's not that thin so you can get nice and precise and i'm just gonna start filling them in and i'm gonna fill my brows in like to the shape of my brows she had a bit of a different shape than mine but if i filled mine in like she did it'd look a bit more crazy and then in the front she had like a nice line and it looked way better than this but you know okay and then i'm gonna brush my brow hairs down So I'm just continuing filling in the more sparse areas. I can never get my eyebrows to look good. So don't come for me in the comments if they look really bad. I'm really trying here. Okay, I think that's as good as we're gonna get them. I'm not like super mad at them, but they could be better. Then I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral. I'm going to use the Morphe M432 brush to carve them out. Just looks like that. I use it every day for carving out my eyebrows. Honestly, carving out eyebrows makes the biggest difference. I love doing this step, especially with this e.l.f. brow pomade. It kind of gets everywhere, so this will be nice. I definitely ruined this. Um, do you see this arch? Okay, I think this is as good as is. I think this is as I think this is as good as we're gonna get with the eyebrow. Yes, it is way too dark for me, but literally this is in the shade light brown, and this is not light brown. I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyebrows or like gel them, whatever, with the Maybelline Great Lash brow gel or clear mascara it's not my favorite brow gel but 
it's okay voila i'm gonna prime my eyelids with the tarte shape tape concealer because we're gonna be working with some colors today we're not trying to stain our eyelids okay so i'm gonna be using three palettes for my eyes i'm gonna use the color pop all i see is magic palette and the modern renaissance and the next ultimate brights palette all for different things so I'm sorry if you're trying to recreate this look. I ordered the 35B, but it was literally today, so it hasn't come in yet. But anyways, I'm gonna set my eyelids with the shade Tempura in the Modern Renaissance. As you can tell, I love this shade. Once I completely use it up, I'm gonna get the Soft Glam Palette, I think, because I've been really wanting the Soft Glam Palette because literally, like, it's so pretty and tempura is in the soft glam okay so i'm going into the nyx ultimate brights palette and i'm going to go straight in with a bright yellow and i'm just gonna add that as a transition color and i'm not gonna go low with it i'm actually gonna go pretty high because we're literally drawing a sun on our face on our eye so we need to have room for that, but still see the yellow. And then I'm going back into the Modern Renaissance again. I'm going to be switching between palettes, so I'm sorry. But I'm going to take Golden Ochre. It's more of a muted yellow, because we I don't think the look was very like bright. Okay, I have to look at the picture again, but we have like the kind of like yellow done. And now I'm going to go into like a yellowy orange color. Well, I'm going to take the shade from the next Ultimate Brights palette and I'm gonna use... I'm just using like a still fluffy brush and I'm gonna add this to the, a little bit above my crease area but still into the crease a little bit. I'm sorry this is like really confusing and we're just like pretty much adding a ton of colors um in hopes for a sun in the end and since it's kind of like a halo eye i'm going to add it to the outer and inner corner also then back into the modern renaissance and i'm taking burnt orange and pretty much in the crease but not quite directly into the crease yet i don't know we're pretty much just adding lighter to darker and then real gar which is the, like the bright not bright orange it's like a very warm orange and this is going directly into the crease then with this like really small brush i'm going to go in with a tiny bit of red ochre um this might ruin the look this is kind of where we're gonna be like drawing the sun so it's gonna be closest to the sun. I just dropped my modern renaissance and tried to catch it and okay, we're good. Just Rogar is a little bit dirty, but I... it's okay. This is where things start to get a little scary. I need to cut the crease, but in like a halo eye. I hope you can see this. Um and make a sun. So I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape again and the e.l.f. smudge brush, which it just looks like this. I usually use this for cut creases and half cut creases and stuff like that, so I'm really trusting this brush. Okay, I'm setting with Tempura super quickly because I don't want this to transfer. Okay, that was really stressful, um, but I made sure to set it with a lot of powder, so hopefully it doesn't transfer. Now I'm going into the ColourPop All I See Is Magic palette. I love this palette. And I'm going to take this gold color. I think this is a really good gold. I actually took out all of my golds, swatched them all, and decided that this one was the best for this look. Okay, I'm back. I had to literally back up all my stuff because my phone storage ran out. I'm going to try not spraying it first so pretty um okay yeah i'm gonna spray it oh my gosh how am i gonna do the sun like the actual sun part like the little okay this gold is beautiful okay now i have to literally do like the petals not the petals like the sun rays of the sun <sighs> okay got one down gotta set it now okay i'm just gonna go ahead and do all of them off camera because it's really stressful trying to do it on camera, so I'll be right back. Might I just say, I am so proud of this. So, minus mine being like, 
two times more intense than hers. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna go in with the yellow eyeliner. Uh, this could be where it all ends. Like, this is about to go terribly, terribly, terribly wrong. I'm gonna be using the NYX Ultimate Brights eyeliner, but the yellow shade. And I'm gonna take the same brush that I used to do the like gold i'm just gonna take it on the brush and start going from there i really hope this works because i'm really proud of this look as of right now so i'm pretty much just outlining everything this is working out it's just that mine high key no mine like low key looks like fire okay so i finished outlining i'm pretty really proud of that how, how that turned out and i just have to add the like the yellow right here so, like, I practically covered up all of the eyeshadow that, you know, we put under. But, like, you can kind of still see it. Okay, so I'm taking this e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen. And I'm going to try to draw those birds that were in the picture. Just like that? Okay. And then I'm going to highlight my inner corner and brow bone with Color Pops flexitarian because it's blinding and that's what we're going for for this look then i'm going to go in with this smashbox always on gel liner and i'm just gonna put this eyeliner on before lashes and if you are subscribed to my channel you would know i never do eyeliner but i feel like this is a pretty necessary step with this makeup look. Yeah, I absolutely hate eyeliner, but. And for lashes, I'm not going too bold because I'm not trying to freaking cover this eye look that has taken me at least an hour to do. So I'm going in with these Ardell 110 lashes and I'm just gonna apply those off camera. Okay, the eye look is completely done. I'm just going to go ahead and do my face off of camera. It's going to take way too long to do on this video. And I'm going to do something with my other eye. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. Just because this took me at least an hour to do. And yeah. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I'm using the front, cam the front camera now. So hopefully that's okay. But I'm done with the look. I'm kind of disappointed. But, like, it's fine. I mean, it looks pretty good for my abilities, but it just is not like the picture. Like, the picture, her rays are, like, way more small and not as elongated. But it's fine. I'm still, like, proud of the look, but it's just, like, not what I wanted it to be. Okay, let me switch the camera. This is, like, bad. Okay, that's so much better. Like, I'm not completely mad at it. It's just not what i wanted it to be but if you guys want me to do more of these like pinterest like testing pinterest makeup then make sure to leave a com leave a comment down below or answer the poll if i make one but anyways make sure to go subscribe to my friends youtube channels they are so amazing once again and you won't regret subscribing so yeah um anyways if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment like subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye I'll never stop